Up like my profits, always on fire, cause you know you can't stop it. I waste no time on you, half ass bottles. You do what you do, we yo, I go look at how I go. Stay grounded, well connected in the streets. From the hustlers and the gangsters to the homies on the beach. Really stuff the realest, what you know about me. I done been put in work, I done been on the scene. Scheming and plotting to multiply my profits. Always on fire, cause you know you can't stop this. What is up, world? Welcome back. Welcome back to Savor the Flavor. Today, I am in Westlaco, Texas to try something I've been wanting to try for a very long time, and I am at Teddy's Barbecue, all right? Now, that 9.56 ABV told me about this place. My boy Life Through the Lens, Fork It, told me about this place. And then my boy uh, Fred from the Yeah, I'll Have Another Podcast also told me about this place, and he highly highly recommend this place and he's a barbecue guy so if he says it's good and my boys fork it and 9.56 say it's good then it's about to go down we're gonna go in we're here right when it opens so let's see what it's all about all right so stay tuned make sure you watch to the end and i'll see y'all after that I might have to come back for breakfast, that's for sure. Alright, now it's about to go down. Like I said, I've been waiting to come here for a long time and we're about to make it, make it happen. You know what I'm saying? One of my favorite things, tortillas. Now the brisket, we got both lean and fatty. So we're gonna see what it's, what it's all about. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna do this brisket first, sausage, and then the creme de la creme that pork belly burnt in, all right? So we're gonna do that, so stay tuned. Look at that. See that? It still sticks together and it's a little stretchy. That's when you know some good stuff. Look at that. We got a little fatty part right there. Some of the meat, a little bit of the bark on the back. That just melts in your mouth. You don't even need barbecue sauce for this. I'm not saying I'm not going to, but you don't need it. Now let's try that lean, okay? This is that lean right here. A lot of people don't like lean because they think it's dry, so we're gonna see, see that? Look at all the stretchiness right there. It doesn't fall apart. Again, a little bit of bark, a little bit of meat. Equally delicious on both ends. I'm gonna 
I'm more of a lean guy myself because this is not dry at all. It still has plenty of flavor and a lot of juice. All right, now we'll go for the sausage right here. This is in-house, made here, you know what I'm saying? Look at all the greeniness right there, the, all the meat. It's got a lot more meat than it's got fat, all right? The casing is nice and mm, delicious. Let's check it out. My God, that's awesome. Y'all need to come here and get that sausage. That is amazing. Oh my God. Let me finish up with this video so I can get back to the food. That sausage is amazing. Now, I've heard a lot of things about this macaroni and cheese. We're about to find out if it's busting or disgusting, all right? So, ooh, just by, just by putting my spoon and my fork in here, I can tell it's gonna be off the chain. You can tell that's homemade. No processed cheese in there whatsoever. The noodles are tender. The cheesiness is there. I wouldn't change nothing about that. Yeah. Now, this other item that I got as a side is the cream corn. I'm not really much for cream corn, but like I said, I heard things about it, so I need to try it. Okay, so we're gonna try it. See, it's right here. Oh my God. This is unlike any other cream corn I've had. Because most cream corn, the, the, the kernels are like split and they're real like mushed together. It's like, it's like blended. This, the kernels are whole. And the, the, the creaminess of it, it's a little sweet, but still has a good savory flavor for it. Oh, my God. I got some pickles too. These are homemade too. Look at that. I can tell by the thickness of it, the, the, the whiteness of it. Like I said, this is not have been sitting in a lot of acid, so. Mm. The crunch is perfect. It's not too acidic. I fuck with that. But let's get to the creme de la creme. Now this right here is a cross between burnt ends and pork belly. In other words, bacon. All right, and who the hell doesn't like bacon? So we're gonna try this out, all right? Look at that. Got a nice bark on it. Got that little fatty piece on top. Let's do it. Tastes so good, make you want to slap your mama. Don't it, Willie? Yeah, boy. Hey, mama. What the hell you want, Willie? My God. Anything, y'all need to come for that. That is amazing. It's so meaty, not dry. It's got a little sweetness to it. It's got that smoky flavor that you're looking for when it comes to barbecue. Y'all need to fuck with that. Y'all need to fuck with everything. And that's because I didn't get to try the dino rib. And there's a, they got breakfast here. So we may have to do a part two here. All right, now we're going to try that barbecue sauce. Check it out. They only got one here, so that means one and done, that's all you need, okay? That says a lot about a barbecue place. They ain't got a lot of sauces. That means, you know, they don't need it. So we're gonna, we're gonna wrap it up in the tortilla. Got that lean in there. A little bit of pickle. The sauce. Mm. Even the sauce is awesome. It's got that vinegary texture, but it's not too watery. So it's kind of like a mix between the no, thick barbecue sauce and the vinegar one. Thicker. And the tortilla. Mm. Oh, Yo, what is the aftermath? Nada left. Nada left. These are the battle scars where some meat was slain. Uh -huh. There used to be pork belly in there, but it's gone. Oh wait, I missed a piece. And I need to get a refill.
Wait is well worth it. Just to let you know. Uh, they got outdoor seating as well. Fantastic. Shout out to Teddy's Barbecue. Ooh, that was it for Teddy's Barbecue. Oh my God. Words cannot explain, but I'm gonna try my best. Everything was cooked to perfection. Everything had so much flavor. You didn't even need the barbecue sauce. All this stuff was homemade. I could tell you it's homemade. Okay, the staff was friendly. The owner's wife, what was her name? Bernie. Bernie, the wife's owner, Bernie, came out and she was very, she was very uh, polite. Took all our plates when we were done. Conversated with us, chopped it up. Was telling us a little bit about the history of the place. Teddy's actually not the, the name of the owner, but the son. And they have another restaurant at the Mercado District in McAllen that they just opened up as well, which we're gonna have to hit, okay? This place amazed me. My boys did not let me down. Shout out to, uh, you know, Joe. Okay, the other restaurant is named Jocelyn's. Jolene's. Jolene's. Jolene's out in the Mercado District. We're gonna have to hit it because they told me about some smash burgers, a deep fried spare rib. You know, and just to another level. So we're going to have to go check that place out. Okay, but shout out to the 9.56 ABV podcast. Shout out to Teddy's. And yeah, I have another podcast. Shout out to my boy, uh, Ismael from Fork It. Did not disappoint my boy. This is bad, badass. And we got here right when it opened. It's a good thing because the line was out the door. Literally out the door. And it's well worth the wait. So we had to come here, get some stuff before it ran out. You know what I'm saying? But we might have to come back here and do a part two because there was some stuff we didn't get. But y'all have, have to just have to wait and see. Y'all ever been here? Comment down in the, you know, down in the comments below and let me know what y'all liked. If y'all and, and then if y'all haven't been here, y'all need to go here, okay? I'll leave all their information linked down below, their social media, their address. Shout out to them in Westaco, you know what I'm saying? And uh this has been the one man click and you're watching Save with the Flavor, and I'll see you guys on the next one.